For our last problem of this CoffeeScript series, we're going to be dealing with a larger chunk of data because most problems in real life have a lot of data. They're not just like that math problem we did. So in order to get this started, let's look at this grades.coffee file that I made. And so we have an object here called grades. Inside of this, we have these subsets of objects. So we have this class one object that contains a bunch of key values with names and grades. Um, you can see here, uh, these are all the students in class one. And class one is a part of grades as a whole. Uh, so we have Tim, Jim, Pam, Jan, Stan, and Ryan. I guess someone thought Stan and Ryan rhymed if you said it that way. I don't know who made this list. We won't mention names. Um, class two, uh, you can see we have Larry, Jerry, Harry, Barry, Mary, Gary, Perry, and Carrie. And you can see that they didn't do as well as class one, but that's okay. We're going to... Uh, average these out in a bit. So class two and class one are part of the bigger um, object of grades and then students are inside each class. Class three of course has Henrietta, Gertrude, Bertha, Hildegard, and Joe. Um, not sure how Joe got in there but that's how it is and you can see the names inside of class two. So key value, key value, etc. So we have a uh, nested objects here and the goal is we want to get the total of each class, the average grade of each class when we combine them all together. So class one should have an average, class two should have an average, and class three should have an average, and then we want an average of the entire school. So we want to take all the grades and get an average and see how the entire school fared on this test. So we're exporting grades here, which, mean, which means we need to import it in our hello.coffee in order to get going. So um, I just made up this kind of, <coughs> uh, close that. I just made up this exercise on the fly, so hopefully it works. Uh, let's see, grades equals require, and we need to require dot slash grades dot coffee like this. And I guess first thing is, let's just make sure we're getting grades. Console.log grades. We should be getting that nested object in from here. And you know what? We're going to split this right so we can keep an eye on both. So here's our hello. Here's our grades. I can close this now. And I can close the sidebar. Oops. So we have more room. There we go. Uh, everything saved. Let's run it and make sure we're getting what we think we're getting. Yep. Perfect. So we see here class object, our main object, and then inside of that we have our class object, our class two object, and our class three object. Now we need to get the names and values from each individual class and get the total of the values, specifically the average of the values for each class. You can see there's different amounts of names in each class, so it's not gonna be quite as easy as just plugging in one specific number. It's gotta be a little more dynamic than that. So I haven't solved this yet, so we're going to solve this together, kind of live. Uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, I just kind of, like I say, I made up the exercise. Um, I just thought it'd be a good coding challenge for the end of this course for me to try and do it live. And we have class one, class two, and class three. So we need to get, <clears throat> I think the class is individually first. We can destructure this grades object. So we talked about destructuring. So we can say something like class one, yep, see how it's giving me this option, class two, class three, equals grades, like that. And now if I just, I'm gonna print just one for now, console.log, sorry, not in Python. We'll say class one, just to make sure that our destructuring worked right. So let's go down here, clear it. Perfect, so this is indeed the class one object. And so now we've destructured each of these. Now we need to take each of those and get the average of each one. And then we need to get the average of everything as a whole. So let's focus on getting the average of each class first. So let's make a new function for that. I think it's gonna to be too much inside of mean to do it that way. So let's say get class, class camel case average. It's going to take in a class. Uh, class is a bad name because there's actual like classes, you know what I mean? So uh, it's going to take in a group of students. We'll say that, an object of students. I think that's a better name for it. And I'm forgetting my syntax, students. Got to keep the coffee syntax. And so we take in the students 
and then we need to get the value from each student and we, we need to add those together. So we can say, I think we can say vals equals, we'll, we want one of these for loops. So for the key we don't care about, so we'll just make it an underscore. The value will be grade in students. And we want to, uh, We just want to return the grade. We want to get the grade out of there. So I think I can just say this. That looks odd, but it should work. And then let's console.log the vowels to make sure we're getting the list of grades up here. We need to call that function. Get class average. Come on. Get class average. We'll just pass in class one for now. That's fine. Go down here, clear it. Let's see what we get nothing okay that didn't work so ch -ch -ch. let's make sure we can console.log it i guess console.log grade oh i know what it is for i think this has to be of syntax error yeah perfect so here we go so what we had is okay and we're getting all the grades from our students class. I guess we should make sure that those are indeed the grades from those specific students. So let's also console.log students just to make sure that we're getting what we think we're getting. Yep, so this is the original object and this is an array of just their grades. And now we need to average all their grades. So, all right, so we get the values and then we need to say we need we need the length of those values. So I guess we'll say num of grades equals vals. So the values dot length. I think we can do that. I'm not sure if we need these or not. I think not. Um, and let's console.log the length to make sure that, sorry, not the length, num of grades to make sure that looks right. Yeah, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. So that's, that's our number of grades. And then we need to add all of our <coughs> numbers together and divide. And we've seen this in a previous problem, actually. It comes in handy right here. So total equals zero. Then we can say total plus equals num. Uh, total plus equals num for num in vowels, which is fine. Uh, so for each num, we, we get the total, and then we can say we want to, come on, why aren't we going? There we go. We want to return the total divided by the number of grades. And that should give us our class average, and then we can store that here average one equals and below it we can console.log average one to make sure it looks right run it 81.5 uh dare i get out a calculator for this sure let's do it calculator let's make sure 88 plus 33 plus 71 plus 98. If you're thinking this is a little bit uh, more difficult and longer and just slightly more boring, well, that's <laughs> unfortunately that's most real life coding problems. Uh, so you just kind of have to work your way through them and eventually you get there. And sometimes it's trial and error, it just takes time. Okay, so that's our total divided by the six grades in the class. 81.5, we got 81.5, that's a winner. So that's our average for one class. That works. We can delete this now. We don't need that. Just add a space there for clarity. Add a space down here for clarity. And I think, oops. Ideally, if you're coding like for something, you might want to add a comment here. Or you want to break these out into two separate functions, probably. This one would say get list of grades. And then down here we would say 
get average and return get and return grade list average ideally you'd want those comments so it's not just it doesn't look so big or you'd want to break each of these out into their own functions I think that one so we get average one that's cool um, now we can just do the same thing for the other two classes uh, ideally you could for loop it but there's only three so we don't have to worry about that um, again there's always optimizations you can do it's just a matter of is it necessary for what you're doing and is it worth the time in this case there's only three of these so the answer is no <laughs> uh, let's see class three okay and then we want to console.log we want to say average one average two average three make sure we're getting all three averages nice uh, this one is a triple decimal which we don't want but I don't really care to fix that right now so average of 81 class 2 average of 71 class 3 average of 68 let's confirm class 3 just to make sure uh, let's go back to here calc 80 plus 44 plus 94 plus 100 plus 22 okay and divided by one two three four five people in the class is 68 perfect and that's all we got here 68 nice and that's why it's important that we got this vows dot length because each of these classes is a different length so we can't just plug in a hard-coded number there we actually have to get the length of this this array all right now we got those um, now we should be able to get the total of the entire school um, we may have to individually get all the grades again though so let's see delete that now we need the the school total right so school total equals get school average and we'll say it takes in class one class two and class three um, now I forgot up here we're using uh, yeah whoops we're using coffee script so I can do this right I don't need the parentheses there but if I have three arguments I do need the parentheses here so yeah I think we're gonna pass in all three here and we're gonna create a get school average function get school average which takes in class one class two class three and oh I don't need brackets and again you can probably optimize this but I just wanna make sure that this answer works for us first so we take in the three classes we need to get the length of each class right so we can say okay we do want this in its own function um, so let's let's get this out of here and get it in its own function I think that's gonna be ideal so we can say mm -mm, down here because we're gonna reuse it get list of grades like this Oh, camel case though get list of grades and it's gonna be equal we're gonna pass it in the students like this and now we're gonna paste all that stuff oh no I lost it wait undo okay uh, delete it here open get list of grades takes in students paste it there we go uh, number of grades right so we want to return vowels dot length so we don't actually need this okay we just want to get the length and that that's going to be important in a minute so we'll say where was that that we just had here we're gonna say num of grades equals get list of grades 
That's not really getting the list of grades though, is it? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. We want to return just the vowels here, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, you want to make sure your functions are properly, appropriately named. So we want to say mm, vowels here equals get list of grades. And we have to pass in the students. And then underneath that, we can say num of grades equals vowels dot length like that. That works out. So we just we just got this out of this function in order to reuse it in our get school average function, which I accidentally deleted. Get school average takes in class one, class two, and class three, like that. And it's going to return. I don't need this anymore. <coughs> so let's make this easier to read. And now we can leverage this get list of grades function, right? So we can say grade one, class one grade list equals uh, get list of grades class one. Yep. And then we're going to copy paste this, yank paste, whoops, paste, paste. Of course, this is class two, class three. Let's get over here, class three, class two. Save that, and now we can get the length of each of these, right? So we can say, I'm kind of doing the same thing again. Do I need to do this? That's a good question. I get the length. I can probably, hmm. there's an easier way, there's, there's a more clean way, but, but this will work. So uh, num of grades class one equals class one grade list dot length. This will work, num of grades two. Uh, now I'm using snake case by accident, that's fine. Class two grade list dot length num of grades three equals class three grade list dot length like that again not very clean but it does work so now we have the length of each set of grades and we have all the grades so we have to combine all three sets of grades into one long array uh, so to do that we can say all grades list equals i think i think we can say class one grade list dot 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 class two grade list dot 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 class three grade list dot 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 and again in, in normal javascript you put the dot 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 on the left hand side in coffee script you put it on the right hand side i don't know why they can't just have one uh simple way to do it across all these but anyways let's log all grades list and make sure we're getting all the grades in one list mm -hmm. six here seven here six here right this is the first class the second class goes to ch -ch -ch. here i think we got to open that back up goes to 77 yep and the third class is here goes to 22 so this is all of the grades now you know what i don't need these because we can get the length of all of them at once right so now we're cleaning it up a little bit so we can say um number of grades equals all grades list dot length. So we definitely just cleaned that up. That's awesome. And we can actually clean this up too if we want. We can substitute this for this. Um, an example would be let's, all right, let's delete these. Yeah, and we can say here, we can say get list of grades, not that, get list of grades and we can pass in uh, class one yeah and we've just simplified this so much it's great get list of grades class two perfect get list of grades class three all right that's that line's getting pretty long but for our purposes it's gonna work so we, we could also I guess 
let's appropriately do it this way. Just add some enters here. Remember the total, the goal is to get the total of average of all the classes. I don't know why I picked such a in-depth problem, but yeah, it's more real lifey this way. So we, we uh, <coughs> spread these arrays across one big array, uh, and we know we get the list of the big arrays now, and now we need to get the average of this entire thing, which is done here, and we can just steal that. So <laughs> let's delete this, and we can, we can return the get class average, of the entire class and so for that can we do that no we can't do that uh, we can't steal this so we have to steal specific parts of it in this case this um, so maybe we create this into its own function this is uh, me uh, over optimizing a bit but let's supposing we do uh, let's we're this far in we might as well finish it so delete and I'd say get, let's refresh there, get um, <coughs> average. And here we pass in the list, the values, and the number of grades, which is fine. Uh, we may not even have to pass in both of those eventually. But for now, we'll do that. And we'll return, let's set that equal sign here. And we'll return the the what we had here. So paste this. The total zero num for number of values divided by number of grades. We don't actually need to put number of grades here anymore. Um, I believe we can get that down here, but should we? Yeah, we don't actually need this variable. So let's delete that. Delete this here. Shoot, my fault. Uh, delete word. There we go. Starting to wear down if you can't tell. Uh, just want to finish out this problem. So divided by, we can just say here, come on, please let me type, vows.length, like that. And that's the same as saying the number of grades. And we don't need that then. So now we can delete this and delete this comment because it's very clear what we're doing. We can then say we want to return get average of the pass in the vowels. So we get the list of grades and then we get the average. Now we no longer need the comments because each function has its own little, um, each operation has its own little function uh, and it's self explanatory now. So that's a good way to take your code, break it down, and make it so you, one, need less comments, but two, just make it much more clean. Um, so up there, that's fine. We no longer need this number of grades which means we can get the the total average by just calling this get average function on this I believe so we can say get average of all grades list like that and we don't need those parentheses all grades list I'm leaving the parentheses in these above because I'm not sure how that works with the spread operator if we need them or not but here we're returning this uh, so now we're getting the school school average like this that's fine uh, I'm using a combination of camel case and snake case um, my mistake I just uh, <coughs> I spent a lot of time in both so it just kind of happened so now we should have all of those so we can say uh, now we can log everything right so we can do like a console.log and one thing we haven't covered yet that we're about to cover is not comments uh, we want to log more than one line in coffee script I think we can do it this way so we'll want to say uh, let's see class one average equals or we'll just do this average one and then we want to yank that line because we need the class 2 average, class 3 average. And then we want the school average. So we can say, we'll paste that here, school. And now we don't need the number 1, the school average. And let's, let's do that for 
cleanness, cleanliness, not replace, change word, school, average, should work. Save it. Uh, hopefully, we get all of our averages here. Let's find out. Nice. And we're not going to worry about these decimals. That's okay. So class 1 average, class 2 average, class 3 average, and then the average across the entire school. And we got all that from our grades nested object inside of grades.coffee. A lot of times in real life, someone will hand you like an Excel sheet full of data, or in our case, an object full of data, and they'll have you do some crazy manipulation over it. And in this case, um, this is one example of doing that. So we got a list of grades, we broke it down, we solved the problem piece by piece. It took a while, but we did it. Uh, so that's exciting.